Welcome back to A Dom's Worth. I am DJ Paradigm. I hope everybody's having a great start to the new year. We're just gonna jump right into it. Today's topic and what we're gonna learn is talking about how to not have laptop face. All right, so let's get right into it. So new DJs, old DJs, anybody that's using Serato, DJ Pro, any technology as far as DJing digitally. You might not know what laptop face is if you're a new DJ, but laptop face is basically staring at the screen of your laptop, whether you're doing a corporate party, a private party, a pool party, whatever, but really just staring at your laptop the entire time. That is what we call laptop face, okay? And laptop face is terrible for any DJ. And there's a bunch of reasons why, so we're just gonna go over them and what we can do as far as not having laptop face, all right? Number one, the number one reason why you should not have the laptop in front of you while you're actually DJing or anything like that, really just directly in your line of sight. You'll get into a bad habit of just staring at the screen. If you're just staring at the screen, you're not focused on what's going on around you. So if you're at a club or you're at a corporate event, you have no idea you know, if people are having a good time, even right in front of you because your laptop is literally right in front of you. And that's all you're concentrating on. So one thing, well really the only thing you can do in order not to get laptop face is moving the laptop to the side of you. So whether it's beside your turntables or beside your controller, wherever else, just not right in front of you. And there's a couple of reasons why you need to do that. So the main reason is, of course, like I said, so you can focus on the actual dance floor. So you can get feelings and reaction and how people are reacting to this song that you're actually playing instead of looking at your laptop and trying to figure out, oh, you know, what song I need to play next. When you do that, really you get stuck into playing a playlist instead of actually DJing off emotions. And if you really want to get better gigs and, and get paid more, then you have to show more expression in your actual DJing and performance. And having the laptop directly in front of you, you can't really do that because you're so locked into your laptop, you're not paying attention to what's going on or who's having a good time or who's not having a good time. So playing off your actual emotions really is a great thing. And you get that by having a laptop to the side, not directly in your face. Another important reason why you need to DJ with your laptop to the side is to help you connect with people. Whether it's a small event or a big event, people are definitely going to want to look at the DJ um, just because you are the form of entertainment. So, you know, if you have the laptop in your face, if you're like me, uh, vertically challenged, people are not gonna be able to see your face. Even if not, you know what I'm saying, if the laptop is directly in your face, you're, you're only looking at the laptop. So you need to be able to see people and they need to be able to see you too. Whether it's, you know, your actual movement, your facial expression, you smiling, they wanna see you actually having a good time. And if you're already just concentrated and so zoomed in on the laptop, oh man, it's terrible, you know? You won't be able to focus on anything else that's going on around you. Number two, with your laptop being to the side, it also teaches you how to actually mix, to mix in your ear, to actually mix songs on your headphones and not creating a crutch to have to pay attention to the laptop and to pay attention to the waves the entire time. If you're so focused on the waves and not really on the actual mixing in ear, you're not gonna be able to pay attention to anything else. And that really creates a terrible habit for DJs. A lot of times I see a lot of DJs, they're so into their laptop that it takes out all the emotion. It takes out all of their, their emotion to DJ. And they're really just like ro robots. You're really just a robot at that point. You're really just an iPod, a playlist, because that's all you're doing is you're just playing straight from your laptop and not from emotion. 
Learning how to mix with your headphones and in your ear, not paying attention to the laptop, is going to make you a better DJ. It's going to give you a better feeling of DJ. It's gonna create more of a character and bring that character out of you. Uh, that way, when you're mixing, you can actually smile, you can groove to the beat, you can bounce to the beat. It creates that motion. And when you look better and you feel better, you play better. The third thing, and last but not least, when your laptop is in front of you, people cannot see you. People cannot see you at all. If you're on an elevated platform, you might as well just be an iPod. Because if the laptop is in front of you, even if your laptop, the back cover has your name, if it has Cool Receptions, DJ Paradigm, if the laptop is directly in front of me, nobody's gonna be able to see my face. So you want people to be able to connect the name with the actual face. And also, being able to connect with people face to face will be able to help you to create other ways of networking when people see your face and they actually see you having a good time or they recognize you from your name they're gonna come up they're gonna come up and speak they're gonna be more friendly because they actually can see you now if you're behind the laptop they're not gonna have any kind of positive motion to try to come towards you you know and you want that whether it's a corporate gig of course clubs we really don't want a lot of people coming towards us and asking us for requests but that's gonna happen anyway whether the laptops in front of you or not so Having the laptop to the side, you are able to create that connection with people, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or 500 people connecting with you. So that's why even when you're at festivals, you don't see these EDM DJs, whether they can DJ or not. They don't have the laptop directly in front of them. They don't have their machines, whatever they're using, directly in front of their faces. Even if they're not DJing or not, you know what their face looks like because you can see their face. All right, so to wrap this all up, laptop face is definitely a crutch. You don't want to have it. You want to have your laptop to the side so you can concentrate on everything else that's around you. For the DJs that already have laptop face, you have to work on being able to move it to the side, whether you know you need a bigger space as far as table space or having a laptop stand, yes. You know, it's not your direct focus, so you kind of have to come back and forth. But to be quite honest, when you're creating this motion and, you know, having a good time, bouncing up and down, people are going to pay you more. They're going to pay you what you're worth because you're actually doing something. You're not just staring right in front of you. A couple of things that might help as far as being able to see the screen is going into your Serato settings and making the font bigger or making the waves move slower that way. And you can still see it but you're actually still DJing at the same time. I hope this helps you guys. Please, if you do like my videos, hit subscribe, hit like, please share. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank y'all for tuning in to A Dime's Worth. We'll see y'all on the next episode. All right? Peace.